these processes are still in place. We still are required to make applications, printing these forms, signing the forms, and getting these to the Court of Protection. And once they have been submitted, as a general rule of thumb, um, the court will check the application and issue it. Under their own uh, directions, they're saying that they should do this within two weeks, but there are delays at the moment. Once the application is issued, it is at that point that you would then notify the relevant people of the application. Of course, once you've done that, they have the ability to object and they have the ability to consent. They can sign a form to say they are happy. Another change that we have had is to do with the uh, professional deputy standards. So those of you who act as a professional deputy will no doubt be acquainted with the old style rules. And we had uh, codes one to four, which were for property and financial affairs, and two to five were the standards for health and welfare. And these were really good. They told you a standard that you had to meet, and then they gave you uh, examples of how to meet that. So for example, if it was property and financial affairs, it would say secure the assets of P. And what evidence would support meeting that standard? Well, writing to the banks, the building societies, undertaking asset searches, all these things would show you're meeting that standard. So what we should be doing, we should be thinking about whether or not we have a potential need to instruct somebody else. So we can get quotes for uh, acting. So instead of immediately instructing a team within your firm, a separate team like litigation, for example, we should be thinking, well, is there a potential conflict here? If there's a potential conflict, we should get quotes. We should get more than one quote. ACC went further and said, if the costs are going to be in excess of £2,000 plus VAT, in order to... Um, instruct your firm, even if they're the better option from the three quotes, you must have a court order. 